What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, uh, bringing you a legendary song by a legendary artist. Um, we'll zoom in, and I'll show you uh, the chords, the rhythm, a couple cool little tricks in there. Not too hard, but, you know, really give it that signature sound. And also, just really appreciate your support. This is where I'm going to be from here on out, this YouTube channel. So please make sure you've subscribed. And, uh, you know, I appreciate comments and liking the videos and all that stuff. Thank you so much. But enough of that. We'll zoom in and break this one down. Here we go. All right, let's get to it. So we're going to start with a C major chord. And then we take our index finger off, and that is called C major 7. Then we go to an F chord. And I'm playing F with ring finger on the third of the D, middle finger on the second of the G, and then index on the first of the B. And I'm just letting it mute that high E. And I'm not getting those low strings in there. And then I'm playing it this way because my middle finger is going to go, it's going to play a little lick. So that lick is on the G string, and it's middle finger on that second fret. Two, three, open B. So check it out. C, do, D, do, D, do, open. the next section, it doesn't do the lick, and then it stays on F. Imagine walking down to D minor, and then a C note, G, G, Fo, da, da, ah, ah, ah. So here's what's happening. It's an F chord, and then ring finger comes off and middle finger moves up to the second fret of the D, so. Na, na, na. That finger's still there, so F, this walk down thing, and then a D minor, and I'm playing the D minor with my pinky on the third fret of the B. Takes a little getting used to, but this is how I always play this D minor now, because um, there's situations where your ring finger needs to be free to hit this third fret of the A string. So we have a D minor where it's index on the first fret of the high E, pinky on the third fret of the B, and then middle finger on the second fret of the G, and then ring finger goes to the third fret of the A. While I'm holding that D minor. So F, walk down, D minor, 
then the C note with it, then a G chord for today. Do do starts over again. Now check this out, the next section you may say F to G, C major 7 to E7. So it goes F, you made G, I'm a C. And it's nice to take that index off to make it C major 7. And then E7, which is middle finger on the second fret there of the A string and index on the first fret of the G. So check it out. F to G, then a C chord. E7, F, but I'm G to G to C. Major 7, E7, F. Major 7, E7, F, G, we'll see the top. Here we go. there was a lesson. I uh, hope you got something from it. Maybe had some fun too along the way. Thanks for subscribing to this channel of mine and leaving comments, liking the videos, all that stuff. Really appreciate you guys. So thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you in another video real soon. See you later.